All right. I said I had a surprise for Friday. Unfortunately, I got home a little bit later than expected from work. And here it is. It's the gold one. All right. Let's go ahead and open this up. I'll start to dig it up and uh, see what we get. Give me a second to take the wrapper off and I'll be right back. Before I get started, this is what it looks like. And these are your options. So let's go ahead and get this thing started and we'll see what I get. Here we go. I'm going to go with the standard drill method. It's easier to find where it is and then quickly go around it. There's only one piece in the small ones. Either you get a little piece of gold or you get a cube of something. My trick is to go through the center. And break it. I could get this wet and immediately find out what it is. But I want this video to last. So, we're going to go with this way. Sometimes it's right here. It's not always at the top, but I'm just trying to create a gap to find the difference. If this video starts to go a little bit into the four minute mark, I'll just get it wet and uh, immediately get the stone out, clean it off, and show it to all you. Compare it to my other ones and try to get this video to only be five minutes. So at the three minute mark, I'll go ahead and uh, soak this thing and pause it temporarily. Okay, well, I'm not hearing anything. Let me flip it over. I'm using the wood one because it digs better than the tools that came with it, which is a little mallet for hitting it with a little wedge and shovel thing, and you have a brush. I just use the brushes for watercolors, with like little ones, because they work really well. All right. Let me go ahead and get this thing wet real quick, and uh, I'll be right back. Alright, it's been some time. I've soaked it. This is like sand, so it quickly goes, as you can see now. Just like that. I don't really like doing this method, because I like to take my time. But when you're recording a video... Sometimes you run out of time and have to do it this way. There we go, now it focused. I'm breaking it up first, and then I'll try to find it. Oh my, yeah. I'm actually happy about this. I wonder I wasn't finding anything. Alright. Try it now. Does it focus? Gold. It's my second piece of gold. This is super cool. I will actually show you what's in this. This is super cool. I was wondering why I wasn't hitting anything. Usually it's a hard hit, but okay. All right, let me pause this. I'm gonna open this up and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Well, here it is, gold. 
You'll see why here in just a second. And you'll see why I prefer to get the rocks. That right there is the amount of gold I've received. Comparison. Um, let's do a pin. We all know how big these are, right? Yep, watch. All right. Here's your standard pen. We'll go from the cap size. There you go. A literal spec. It's gold. I'll take it. Now let me show you what an actual, let me see what, I'll show you what my other one looked like and I'll show you my collection. Here's the other one. I don't know if they're all, hopefully they're not universally the same size. That would suck. This one is bigger, as you can see. Now I'll take the two out and compare them. That's the one I previously got once. And here is the one I just received. One second, okay. The one on the bottom was my old one, my first. And the one on top is the other one. It's significantly smaller. Now I have two pieces of actual gold. They're not really worth anything at this moment. And they're not worth the price uh, that you pay for these things. Now let me show you some of the other cool stuff I have actually received from these. This one here is pyrite. Okay. Okay, pyrite right here. It's the lighter one. There's some in it. There's no iron or anything to kind of make it a uh, uh, stick to a magnet. This one does have some iron in it. Unfortunately, I don't have a magnet to show you. It does have some pyrite uh, in this one as well. This is my coolest one I received. It's solid pyrite. And this is attracted to a magnet. All right. Now I'm going to show you the other ones. This one was a quartz. White quartz it said. I like it. It's nice and shiny. Uh, this one was Jasper. Or I think they called it Red Mountain Stone. According to the box. It's kind of heavy. I like that one. And then... You have these ones. This one is called obsidian or otherwise known as black volcanic glass. It's basically a lava. All right. Put that to the side. Here's another one. I like it when you fracture it, you get this nice little shiny, glassy, like, mirror look. Unfortunately, these usually come deformed a little bit, but it's par for the course for being pyrite, or obsidian. And there you go. Here's all my previous. As you can see, it's pretty nice. 
Uh, and also, now I have two pieces of gold. I'm going to put in the same package for now. And, uh, let's see here. Nope, that is quite literally it. What I do with the package? Alright, let me show you what was a possible option. Okay. You had Rainbow Stone, which was Red Tiger's Eye. You had the Pyrite, which I have three pieces of. You have your Obsidian, which I have four. There's a White Quartz, it doesn't show. Uh, let's see here. You have that whole, you could get real gold in one in 24 boxes. I had two of those. They're quite small, honestly. I don't think it's actually worth getting the gold. And there's some instructions there. Oh, let me show you the tools. Give me a moment here. Alright, here's the t digging tool. And also, it's used as a, uh, a pick. Here's your little mallet. You can kind of just kind of smash it down or use it to hit the shovel. And that's what I was talking about the brush. I guess they want you to do the whole archaeology thing and kind of brush it off. It's kind of a waste of time, but this works really great for watercolors. And it's quite short, so you can kind of get more details without the whole extra stem. All right. Uh, as I said, here's that. And uh, besides all of the stones, that is quite literally it. So, I hope you all have a great day. And I'm going to quickly, immediately uh, upload this as a premiere to speed up the process. So, I hope you all have a great day and goodbye.